my friends. Okay, I know I'm not in my typical setup. I feel like lately I've been saying that a lot, but I'm actually here in Ireland right now, which I am so excited about. I've never been to Ireland. I'm in Dublin. We got in yesterday yesterday which is wild i feel like i've been in a lot of time zones lately so I got in yesterday it's been so much fun i am in dublin and then flying to london for work for tiffin tech i'm working with aws and riot games which i'm so excited about it's wild for any gamers who watch my channel i think you'll be very excited for what's to come i personally am not a gamer but when they you know suggested that this is like really looking on the, about the tech underneath the hood for gaming. I'm like, this is so cool. I, I can't pass up this opportunity. So yesterday I was at Riot Games looking at their broadcasting center and just like a lot of really cool stuff. Anyways, more to come on that. I'm just really excited. It was a really cool tour. And then London is going to be for the world's finals for League of Legends, which apparently is next level. Like apparently the fans are so dedicated which i'm really excited about but today we have another very exciting video so i'm sure you've seen on the news a lot around claude uh computer use i've seen it around and i was like you know me it's one thing to read about it but we gotta get our hands in it we gotta get we gotta see how this actually works and i've been tinkering around with it and i'm really excited to share with you how you as well can safely run or i don't want to use the word safely because that's a strong word, but yes, more safely run uh, Claude computer use on your computer. I feel very comfortable running it this way, so I'm just sharing with you how I'm running it. We're gonna see what it can really do, which I'm very excited about. So let me share my screen here. Okay, wait, you know what I realized? I jumped ahead as to let's just get in the code, let's get building things, and I didn't even tell you really about for those watching who aren't maybe as familiar with what cloud computer use is. So cloud computer use, they've come out recently where there's this ability for cloud to essentially control your computer or that's kind of the marketing stick around it. It's pretty good at certain things when I was trying around with it. We are going to be using Docker for this, running a virtual container. So it feels a bit more a bit more safer as we're playing around with it running our computer. So I'm not letting it control my actual computer, um, but rather a container in, in Docker, which is really helpful. So, okay, now that we have that under the, the go, let's get into it. And as I'm starting to record my screen and share with you about it, one of the things obviously that has been on everyone's mind every single time something like this comes out is what does this mean for our job? What does this mean for developers? And I think now, if we're still asking those questions, we have, we're thinking too small because with, the ability to control your computer isn't necessarily something new. I mean, we've seen even Microsoft debuting at, what was it called? Um, oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna have to insert it here. But it's new, they didn't release it yet, but it's coming. Oh my gosh, what is it? Um, where it will take screenshots of your computer and remember everything. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up here. Uh, so this isn't a new concept per se, but it still is very new in the world of being able to actually start using it. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so on screen here, I have, I'm gonna show you how to set it up first and then we'll go through some, some examples actually using this computer use and try and code with it as well. So Anthropic, you go to console.anthropic.com and then from there, make sure you create an account and just to be clear, even if you have a Claude account, you still need to create a separate account for the API. So that's what I went ahead and did. And then from here, you'll have some different options. Go to get API keys. I'm not gonna go there because I have quite a bit of API keys in there. If you click on this though, what will come up next is create a new API key. So do that and then copy and save that API key that you create. From there, what you're going to do is if you don't have Docker already installed, go to Docker and install it. You can install the Docker desktop and install it for your corresponding computer. And actually it's pretty easy and quick to install if you haven't installed Docker before. Then what we're going to do is you're going to go into uh, Anthropic's GitHub, I'll link it down below, and you are going to go into the README. So it will be, I'll just link the README down below. And then you're gonna scroll down to Anthropic API and this is what you are going to copy. So you're going to copy this and open up a new terminal here. You can see my, my uh, instance is currently running. And what you're going to do is when you copy this in your terminal, you're just going to replace where it says your API key here, you're going to replace that with your own API key. Then you are going to paste that into a new terminal, click enter, you can see it's gonna download a bunch of different things and you know it will be running when it says computer use demo is ready and then open localhost 8080. As simple as that. Honestly, I thought it would be a headache. I was like, oh, there's gonna be things coming up, but it was really as simple as that. So let's go into localhost 8080. And you can see here, I was tinkering around with it. I was trying to get it to install VS Code. It's, 
it was not having that for me. Um, it's been, did you install it? Let's see. Um, yeah, it's definitely not perfect. Okay, anyways, we'll, we'll get there in a sec because this is being very honest about where it's at currently. So this is using Claude computer use. It's, it's far from perfect, but the, the idea that it's going to be able to control our computers and help with things like coding or building, I mean, even taking a wider lens outside of coding, thinking of how research could researchers could use this for things such as in law or data science like this kind of changes everything like it's pretty wild and I think it really coding and developers are I would say the least of my concerns for something like this it would more so be around different roles that really use data a lot online that um, now this can help them with okay so you can see I was really trying to get VS code to work and work and it's not we're having some issues, which is fine. Um, so let's go ahead and just say open up Firefox. Let's see if it will do that for me. Hmm. Okay, let's open up Firefox. Let's see if it will. Let's refresh. Come on, I just tried to get it to install VS Code and now it's acting up again. Okay, so you can see here we had success. I just need to refresh the page. Typical, typical tech problems. So what I did was, you can see here, I just prompted it with open up Firefox and uh, what it will say then is, I'll help you open up Firefox. It's a little bit slow to start with. First, let me take a screenshot to locate the Firefox icon, then click on it. So just for reference, what it is doing is anytime it needs to do something new, a new action, it will take a screenshot of your, your desktop, of your computer. And this is a way that lets it essentially see what it's doing. So I took a screenshot and then it says, I can see the Firefox icon on the desktop. I'll move the cursor to it and click on it. Okay, cool. Firefox has opened and I see the startup wizard. As per the instructions, I should ignore the wizard and instead click directly on the address bar. Which is interesting because I didn't give it that instruction, I just gave it to open up Firefox. That's the only instruction I gave it, but okay, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, now ready to use, tell me what website you'd like to visit. Let's go to, I am visiting Dublin, Ireland, and I want you to make for me, uh, I'm visiting Dublin, Ireland, and I want you to make for me a spreadsheet on the top tourist attractions that are all one hour, two hours, I'll say, two hours distance from Dublin open up a new spreadsheet to do so after you are done researching. This is pretty simple. We could get way more advanced, but I feel like it's like a child. We need to take it slow right now. So let's see what it does. And you can see up here too, where it says running in the top left-hand corner, that's where it's thinking. Okay, it's doing pretty good. Now it's opening up my spreadsheet. It's interesting because it's already like accepting different notifications that come up and whatnot, which is pretty crazy. And also inputting the actions. Okay, come on, let's see how well you do. I'm gonna try and give it a coding task after this. We'll see how it does. The only problem is that I can't download VS Code. So we'll see how we are able to do this here. We can fast forward this part because I feel like this is gonna be a little slow. Okay, so here's the reality. I, it was not finishing what I gave the task to do of simply just listing different attractions. So then I said, okay, can you code for me a simple website? And now we are getting a rate limit error saying you have been rate limited, retry after one, and, one hour and 42 minutes, which is insane considering, as you saw, we didn't prompt it that much. Like I, I wasn't playing around with it that much prior to recording, I think I did one prompt trying to get, or a few, you saw, a few prompts trying to get VS Code to open. So this is far from perfect. Honestly, I feel like Anthropic released it even too early. I think they should have just, I don't know why. I mean, I obviously they're trying to do the whole hype and race thing and, and whatnot, but the concept is there. It's very cool. There is a long way to go, a very long way to go. But as we know, tech moves really quickly. So I do think this will improve with time very quickly. The rate limiting happening this quickly is insane though. It's really insane. When I was watching videos, I'll maybe insert a little clip of the Claude video where they're showing what you can do with code or I'll just talk about it even, which is 
essentially say we're in this virtual environment and then we open up Claude again, we can say build me a website and then it will build you a website. You can open up in VS Code and then run it locally. So that's an example of coding, I guess, but I don't know. I know this video is kind of, you know, very anti-climatic, but at the very least, I hope you are able to now install it and use it for yourself in a safe manner like I am doing, where you're running a virtual instance with Docker and being able to play around with that way. I'm very curious to get your take. I'm very curious to get your take because I feel like you all have a lot of opinions, which I love, and you're very educated in the tech space, so let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't, you know, anticlimactic, but at the reality, I'm not gonna show you something that isn't real. And this is where Claude computer use is at, at least for me anyways, well, for anyone, uh, with late rate limiting errors happening so quickly. So, Anthropic, you've got some work to do, but it's a very cool concept. I think it will get there. It will get there. All right, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech coding, future tech, AI, all that fun stuff. I have some really exciting interviews coming up. I have some, uh, videos coming up where I am building, actually one video coming up soon where I'm building Frogger, like that 90s arcade game. I don't know if you've ever played it. Uh, so I'm building that with Python, which is really cool. So anyways, stay tuned. Leave in the comments what you think of Claude computer use and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.